So this video, we are going to be building a comment system and we are going to be utilizing plain old fashioned React architecture. And that includes a smart component and a dumb component. Our smart component is going to be at the top of the hierarchy. It is going to be where most of the logic is going to be stored. We are going to build this first, and then we are going to build the actual comment box second so that the comment box can send its data up to the smart component. We can write all the logic to do all the work for the cloud, but we're gonna do that in the next video. Right now, let's just build on work on building the comment box and we'll figure that out later. So let's go ahead, let's hop inside VS Code and let's code it up. Okay, so we are inside of Visual Studio Code and first things first, we need to create our smart component. Where are we going to put our smart component? You can put it anywhere. I'm gonna put mine within the company profile. So I've navigated to the company profile and I'm just gonna go into here, I'm gonna say stock comment. I'm gonna say stock symbol, then go into here, I'm going to pass in my ticker and go ahead and close this out. Obviously this doesn't actually create it, so we need to go into our components. We need to create a folder and I'm just going to call this stock comment. Within the stock comment, AKA the, the smart component folder, just gonna go into here and create uh, all that we need going to create a TSX component. So T-A-S-R-E-F-C-E, -E. go ahead, toss a snippet in there. Now we can actually import this. So you're going to get a, a red squiggly line. Obviously we need to type it. So let's go back and I'm going to say stock symbol and I'm going to say this is going to be a string. Then I'm going to go into here. I'm going to say stock symbol and we are looking good. So let's go ahead. Let's make sure that we've actually got it uh, make sure that it's actually showing up here. And when we, okay, so let's go back, let's go ahead, save. Let's make sure that we actually have it. Yes, our stock comment is on the app. Let's go ahead, let's move on to actually creating the actual comment box. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go within the same exact folder and first things first, we need to create, let's just go ahead, create a little CSS file for this. Let's uh, try to be official here. Let's create a CSS file. Let's not forget CSS. <laughs> now we're gonna go into our folder and we're going to create the stock comment form. And then TSS, uh, this is actually going to be a folder. And then within the folder, this is where we're going to put our stock comment form. Okay, so stock comment form.tsx. Let's also make sure to bring in our uh, snippet and let's toss our CSS in here to be super official, of course. So stock comment form dot CSS. Okay, so we're, we're looking good. We've got our snippet going. Um, now what we need to do is go to my website and it's, you don't have to buy anything. I'm not gonna sell you anything. Just go ahead, go into here, the React TypeScript Tailwind CSS comment box. Go ahead, grab all this, unless you wanna make your own um, actual CSS or your own Tailwind, feel free to, but this is Tailwind that's provided to you so you don't, you don't have to type it all out. So we're gonna go into here, we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this into the stock comment form. Okay, so let's go, bet, let's go ahead, let's go back to the stock comment and let's go ahead, let's bring in our stock comment form. So I'm gonna say stock comment form. Go ahead, bring that in and looks like it compiled. So let's make sure that it looks good. And we are looking good. That is a great, that is a great looking comment form, if I must say so myself. So we've already got kind of like the bones built. Let's go ahead, let's start building out all of the actual guts or like all of the actual code. And there's many ways we could do this, but I'm gonna start with the comment form and work my way up. And what we're going to do first is of course, we're going to go to the stock comment form. We're gonna have to type some props because we're gonna have to pass some stuff down. We're gonna have to pass the symbol down again. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the symbol. I'm gonna get the, uh, going to get, we're going to have to do handle a comment, but we're, we'll do that here in a second. And I'm going to go into here. And of course we're going to pass in the symbol. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say symbol. So we're gonna be passing in the symbol. And of course you're going to get a red squiggly line because you have to pass it down. Then I'm going to go back up to the actual smart component. So I'm in the smart component, if you don't know where I'm at, and we're going to pass down the stock symbol. So we're basically passing it down two levels down into our component, just like on the whiteboard. So let's go back to the actual comment form. I know we're doing a lot of switching around here, but it is kind of, it is kind of a relatively complex component. 
and we're going to have to number one type the actual component or type the actual comment form inputs because we're using react hook forms and we're in typescript so we're going to have to type the actual form inputs for the comment box and this comment box is going to take a string and it's also going to take content and it's also going to be be a string as well too we're going to need a little bit of validation and we don't want to type out all this validation we've already got built-in validation so we don't want to go ahead and type all this out we're going to go to our login page and we're just going to steal number one we're going to take all the input so we need yup and we need the yup resolver so we're just going to go ahead and get that and we're going to bring it back to the comment form and put it into our imports also, let's make sure if there's anything else we need, we're gonna need use form. So let's go ahead, let's also grab use form. Let's put it up here. Let's see what else we need. We already built out our inputs. We're going to need our validation. So let's go ahead and put some validation in here as well too. And this is not going to be username or password. This is going to be title and this is going to be content. And it's just going to be required. You could put more restrictions on here if you want to, but I'm just gonna put uh, these ones and now that you have all of the infrastructure, you can add to it as you wish, and you can make it as complex or as not complex as you want. So symbol, uh, next thing that we're gonna need, we're gonna need to go back to the login page. We don't want this. We don't really need to worry about login, but we do need to worry about React Hook, use or React Hook forms. So we'll just go ahead and grab all this right here, and we're gonna go we're gonna go copy and paste it back into the stock comment form. And we've already typed our comment form input, so we can just say comment form inputs. And it looks like we got, I think we have a misspelling here and we're gonna change this comment form inputs. Okay, I think that looks great. Uh, we've got our resolver. Now what we need to do is we need to wire up the register. So first things first, we're gonna need an on submit. So I'm gonna say on submit is equal to um, handle submit. And we're going to call this handle comment. And we'll build this handle comment here in a second. Let's just go ahead really quickly down here and let's uh, add our register. So I'm gonna say dot, dot, dot. I'm gonna say register and this is going to be the title. Then I'm gonna go down below here and this is where I'm going to add the, the error validation that's going to display if something's wrong or if it's uh, nobody inputted anything. And I say title, I'm gonna go ahead, pass a P in here, and I'm gonna say errors dot title. I'm gonna say errors dot title dot message. And this will be great for our validator. So I'm gonna say error dot title dot message. Go ahead, close that out. Also, we need to add a empty string if we don't have it. And also we now have that so we can use that later and we can use a lot of this later. So this looks good. Let's go ahead. Now we need to take care of our text or we need to take care of our text area box and we need to get rid of the required because we have this validation already in place. So we actually don't need this anymore. And we're gonna say dot, 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 register. And it's going to take in the content. Okay, looking good. We've got our post comment. Our button's good to go. Now what we need to do is we need to wire up our handle comment. We actually need to create this actual method right here. How are we going to do that? Well, there's many ways we could do that. But the most reasonable way is to pass this handle comment up to the actual smart component. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm gonna say handle comment. And now that we have a handle comment, we're going to have to do a little bit of typing. I know typing is not fun, but it is sometimes it, we have to do what we have to do. Oh, wrong one. So I'm going to go into the props. So we're going to type the props and we're going to hit to call this handle comment. We're going to take in an event. I'm going to call this comment. For, this is going to be of type comment form input. And let's see here. We're going to say void. I think I spelled comment form inputs wrong. Oh, no, I didn't. I spelled it right. And we need to go down here and we need to add a bracket. Okay, so this looks good, but now we're getting a red squiggly line because our stock comment form is telling us that we need to actually create this method and we need to pass it down. So how are we going to do that? Many ways to do that. First things first, let's go. We're going to go within the actual uh, stock comment component here and we're going to create 
the handle component. So, or the handle comment. So I'm gonna say const, let's call this handle comment. And this is going to take in, this is going to take in an E of comment form inputs. So I'm gonna say comment form inputs, just like this. And this is where we're going to have our comment post API, but we don't have our comment form input. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead, we're going to copy this comment form inputs. We're gonna bring it back to our stock comment. And we're just gonna copy and paste it up, up here. So we have our type. So when we handle the component, we're going to have to actually post to the database. So we're going to have to make an API call. We're gonna make a service and I'm just going to go within my service or I'm going to just go within my services here. Let's see if I can find them. This project's getting kind of big. So we're not going to, we're going to leave that there. And we're going to say, this is going to be a comment service. So we're going to go ahead, create a comment service. And within this comment service, first things first, we're going to create our API endpoint that we're going to call just so that we don't have to keep typing it out. I'm going to say HTTP slash slash localhost. Yours could be different. I'm going to say 5167 slash API slash comment looking good then we're going to go down and this is where we're going to actually create the comment post so i'm going to say comment post api and this is going to of course be async because we're going out to the database this is going to uh, take in a title this is going to take in a string so i'm going to say let's see here i'm going to say title so title it's going to be of type string. It's going to be, uh, we're also going to take in content, which is also going to be of type string. Also, we're going to need the symbol because it's a one-to-many relationship and we have to form that relationship. We're gonna bring this down. We're going to wrap it within a try catch because once again, it's going out to the internet. So we need to be cognizant about what, uh, how we're, or if we're using try catches or not because we need to anticipate if it's going to break I'm going to say catch. This is going to be of type, let's see, error. And we're going to go into here, and this is where we're going to actually use Axios. So I'm going to say const data is equal to await Axios post. So await Axios dot post. And we're going to create, we're going to have to type this as well too. And we're going to say API plus, and this is where we're going to use a template literal and we're going to use the symbol to actually uh, call the API and then we're going to give it the title. So within the actual, when you do the actual post, the symbol is going to be used once again to form the one-to-many relationship and then the title and the content are just going to be a part of the actual table. So I'm going to go into here, say content. This looks good, but the only thing is that I need to type or I need to import this and I also need to uh, type the comment post. So what we're gonna do, I actually don't have the comment uh, post type yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this within the models. We're probably gonna be using this comment throughout the whole entire app. So we, we need to add this to our models and I'm just going to go into here really quickly and just create a comment.ts. And I think in this case, it's probably more, we're not using any React at all. So it's probably best if we just um, use regular T, regular TypeScript and not TSX. So I'm gonna say export type comment post. And we're gonna have a comment post and we're going to have a comment get because they are going to be fundamentally different in how we actually send the data. So we're gonna go comment. Uh, this is going to be um, string string. And then we can come back in here and because we have this right here, we can come back later and do a comment get. So we, we finally have our comment uh, post. Let's go back here. We can finally we can finally type this right here. We've got Axios. Now what we need to do is we need to return the data or we need to display an error message. So if it doesn't, or if it does not do what we want, we're gonna bring in our handle error method that we made previously. And we're just gonna go ahead and toss in that error and we need to export it. So we've pretty much, uh, this is looking good to go. The stock comment here. So we finally got the stock comment form. So we're going to go ahead here and do the actual logic for the handle comment. And what I'm gonna do is just go in, go in and we're going to bring in the service that we just created. I'm gonna pass in e.title. 
So e title e dot content. We're going to say uh, stock symbol, and this is going to be the actual stock symbol that we're going to pass in. Then I'm going to go down here. Go ahead. I don't want to chain that then onto the the uh, other side of that because it would look bad. And we're going to go response or res. And if the response is not defined, so you have to do a little bit. Uh, you need to check if the response is actually defined. And if the response is actually defined, and if there's actually data that comes back, what we're going to say is we're going to say comment created successfully exclamation mark because it's a it's a big occasion. We're going to bring in uh, React Toastify just to display a nice little comment to let them know that it did. We don't need to worry about getting any of the comments right now. And then we need to chain a catch just as like, I call it a Hail Mary, just if everything breaks or if there's just some kind of crazy server issue that you've never seen before, uh, go ahead, display a warning and it will say some, and we'll just go ahead and dump the whole entire thing into it. So we'll just, we'll just go ahead and dump the whole entire exception. And that's more or less just for you. And this final one right here will uh, catch like very like SQL errors or connection errors. It's not really designed for just any error. It's mo mostly just designed for serious, serious server issues. Okay, so we've got that. Now we need to do, I think, I think is we need to pass in the symbol here. Yeah, so uh, handle, com oh, no, we need to, I'm sorry, we need to pass in the handle comment. So we're going to go into here and we're going to pass in the handle comment. Okay, so one final thing, make sure to put a comment slash right here. So first things first, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead, go into the React app. Let's find Tesla. And let's find, let's comment on Tesla. So we're gonna say Elon bad. Elon bad. Elon bad. <laughs> we're gonna say it louder. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's post the comment. And comment created successfully, but we need to go ahead and check the database. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna whip out Azure Data Studio. You can use SQL Server, it really doesn't matter. Uh, they all work the same, but I just need to go ahead and check the actual database. So I'm gonna go into the actual FinShark database. I'm gonna go within the comments. I'm gonna go select the top 1000 rows. And let me see, Elon bad. <laughs> Elon bad, and look at all these, <laughs> look at all these crazy comments. <laughs> Worst stock. I put my money in Apple and lost everything. Oh my God. Okay. Steve Jobs said this place was bad. Jeff Bezos went to my high school. Okay. You guys are seeing that I'm being a little goofball. All right. So after this, we're going to do the comment list and we're going to work on actually displaying the comments. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.